With the Across the Bay 10K quickly approaching, we wanted to learn more about the public safety planning that has gone into the event. First, we spoke with Scott Haas, the Director of the Department of Emergency Services for Queen Anne's County, about the role the county will play in this year's race and the other agencies they'll be working with to keep participants and spectators safe. This year, which we're very excited about, uh, we've taken on an extra responsibility, and the extra responsibility this year is we've been charged with taking over the medical tents. The years past, we've done all the emergency medical side of the event, but this year we're also coordinating the medical tents. And uh, luckily we have several, several good partners. Uh, Anne Arundel Medical Center is manning one of the tents, and Shore Health Systems through University of Maryland is manning another tent. So uh, the other exciting thing with it is our medical director this year is the event medical director overall. Scott Wheatley, the assistant chief for Queen Anne's County Department of Emergency Services, explained how all the different agencies have planned to work together on the day of the event. In order to be successful with planning and providing protection to this many people in one spot, Queen Anne's County Department of Emergency Services and our colleagues with the volunteer companies could not do it successfully without support from other agencies. So we actually bring agencies in from all over Maryland, Cecil County, uh, Ocean Pines Fire Department, Dorchester County, Caroline County, uh, Talbot County, and uh, Kent County, and they provide support for these events. And the goal is to get them all on the same page. We have a pre-plan, we have an incident action plan, everybody knows where they're going to be assigned for this event, and the goal is to obviously provide the maximum amount of protection for the amount of citizens and visitors that will be here participating in this awesome event. The way we pull them all together is we operate obviously under the incident command system. We have a, an operational sector that combines and works with all of our logistics, knows where everyone is, and if an incident occurs, uh, that operations officer along with the command who's in charge of the overall bridge communicate, we assign the appropriate resources to handle the emergency. Obviously we try to plan for everything, but we, 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 plan for the, we plan for the worst and hope for the best at the end of the day. And last, but certainly not least, David Rivet, the Assistant Chief for the Special Operations Division of Queen Anne's County Department of Emergency Services, spoke with us about how their incident action plan is constructed and implemented. During the last year since the last race, we started conducting a whole new IEP so that we could pick up where some of the gaps were in our planning part. Uh, my responsibility, again, is to uh, have the meetings, bring in all of our different assets from law enforcement, EMS, fire, and from the state so that I can construct an incident action plan to create a maximum operability between all agencies. Everybody understands what their job is. We have uh, that morning we'll have a, a brief to go over what everybody's responsibilities and the get off to a good foundation. This way operations can take over and we hopefully go through without any incidents. But each year we, we go back and we have what we call an after action meeting and an improvement plan so that we know that we did really good job here but we also need to find improvements. Uh, for, for example, last year we had a cardiac arrest on the bridge. The plan worked flawlessly. Uh, we had multiple agencies uh, respond to the gentleman who had the heart attack or the, the cardiac arrest, um, the, the plan worked. But we found that to get back onto the bridge and to handle a few things, we had to reorganize how we staff the bridge and which we have done this year. Uh, again, it's all about interoperability. I coordinate the law, coordinate communications, fire and EMS, and with the state again. And it's everybody is on the same page. Everybody understands what their job is. And I think it goes off pretty well. We're pretty proud of it. Just a reminder that the event is on November 6th, and you can visit bridgerace.com for more information. On Ken Island, Mallory Drummond, QAC TV.